I'm back again, and uh, yeah, we're down uh, in Murcia, which is right next to Los Alcazeres, and a really, really cheap property. And as you know, we go all round and we show everyone all the different areas of Spain, but just along here on the Costa Calida, we've got a little area here called Torre Pacheco, and the property is very good, very cheap. I mean, apartments, whew, two to four bedrooms you're talking around the 50,000 euros and that is real cheap and the same with the houses you can get houses uh, three four bedrooms anything from up to 100 to 200 thousand and then the new builds 200 plus so yeah we're gonna have a look around here show you what it's all about what the area's got and uh, mixture of old and new here as well we've got a lot of uh, newish parts and we've got a little bit of a rundown area which is a typical spanish inland really but yeah we're not far we're only 30 minutes from mercia international airport so and if you was to go from torre Vieja and come down here yeah, the same again you're looking about 40 minutes you can be here and uh, check this area out we're going to have a little walking tour and we're going to show you all what's here and we'll have a look at a couple of these houses that are Dirt cheap, cheap as chips. So yeah, long here. This is uh, a lot of uh, new builds, as you can see, right along. And all around this part is all new builds. This is Torre Pacheco. And uh, yeah, it's quiet as well, isn't it? Hey, all quiet, it's August. And, yeah, lots of uh, nice houses here, as you can see. And you've got a little park here. Yeah, we've got a few little dog walkers about. But yeah, it's got a really old church here in the square. So we'll have a good little walk around and uh, tour the bars and restaurants. I mean, this part of Torre Pacheco, it all looks pretty new. But as you come into it, uh, you have got the old bit, like I say, the old rustic bars and restaurants and the square. And uh, yeah, look at that big building now. You can see just on this corner here, right next to a few of the older houses, got this big massive building here so yeah that is a new build and I'll tell you what if you were going to be paying out for a new build this is the kind of prices you're going to be paying yeah lots of uh, different kinds of property and lots of open land as well so as you can imagine they're eventually going to be building on all this open land when it comes in demand but yeah nicer uh, colour buildings isn't they nice bit of cladding on which I like as I showed you a lot of these other buildings they seem to be whitewashed and within no time you see all the dirty marks but yeah you won't get no dirty marks showing up in here did say it was quiet but that's the first yapper we've come across and the people are really friendly as well and the reason we do these videos like I say people are very interested in uh, what the price of property is in Spain different parts of Spain so yeah we get about so if for the people that have been supporting the channel, really much appreciated. Thank you for the free members we've got. And of course, Vanna Duty joined the other day. And by being a member, as you know, you get the perks. You get the videos before they get released. Of course, you support me, because it does cost money getting about. We could always just walk around Torrebieca every day, but no, we want to get out and show you more parts of Spain. So yeah, it does cost a bit of fuel expenses. So if you could support the channel any way you can, there is links below and they're really much appreciated. And we can get to do lots and lots more lovely videos. And uh, yeah, lots of uh, fields for the old uh, citrus fruit. Again, all kind of different kind of property. Welcome to the stadium of San Jose Rodan. But yeah, managed to sneak inside, have a quick look at this little stadium here. There we go. Looks like a AstroTurf. It's all right, if you're living there, you get a good view of the football games. So that was a football stadium. Now we're gonna head down here and have a look at the other part of this area. And of course, have a look at the church. Check out some bowls and restaurants. Of course, if you want to come and move down here or buy an holiday home, you've got to know what's nearby, ain't you? Well, at least we know we've got some taxes here. As you know, down on the uh, Arueda Costa Plank are there. Problems with taxes, people waiting out at two hours. They're parked up here, waiting for people. There we go, we've got a little sports betting shop over there. And uh, I'll post a link at the top there, what sort of uh, properties you're going to be getting. Like I say, great value for money. I mean, if you're thinking of coming down here, you get a lot for your money. Torre Bieca along that part is a little bit more dearer. As you know, Guatemala could be 80 to 90 just for a one bedroom. But down here, you look at three or four even for that kind of money. And now, yeah, as you can see, 
Stein at 50,000. There we go, we've got another sporty spar there. And uh, yeah, they're out already, they're on it. It's domino time. Yeah, playing dominoes. Yeah. They've got a disco pub there. Uh, tap that's bar. So yeah, not short of bars here. Have a close shop there. And uh, yeah, another bar here, a couple of people here. Like I say, it's only creeping up to 12 o'clock. Cafeteria Adam. And then we've got a motor shop over there. As you know, there's a few of them about. Clothes shops for the women. Tobacconists. Everything, isn't they? I mean, buying one of them new properties for 200 grand with a pool, you won't get it cheaper than that. And yeah, you've got your infant schools. Yeah, schools for the children. I mean, Torrey Patio is not a small area. It's got a population of around 40,000 people. So, yeah, it's not a, a small bit at all. You've got like eight kilometres of a beach here as well. So, yeah, you ain't got a problem with a beach. It's part of uh, Torre Pacheco uh, comes under uh, Campo de Caparena and uh, in Mercia, of course, Costa Calida. It's a massive area, like I say. It's got over 200 square metres. There we go. What's this here? Another light uh, sports bar. Yeah, and it's got welcome now, so you're welcome in now. Airdressers down now. Then we've got some kind of uh, fruit and veg shop here, supermarket. It looks like one of these uh, Chinese stores. But yeah, a lot of people about around these bars, that's for sure. It's not that quiet. And you've got your own sweeper as well. They're out cleaning the machines. Down there, we've got the church and uh, the health centre. There we go, another shop here. Where you want your meat? Your chickens. Oh, I can smell them chickens. Remember, if you did want to come and live in Spain and buy a property and just use it as an holiday home, you still need to get an NIE. That is the first thing you definitely need to get. And uh, you can either do it yourself online or you can pay for a jester to sort it all out for you. And uh, you need that before you buy a property, before you buy a car, and basically before you open a bank. NIE is the first thing you need. So yeah, once you've done it, that's out of the way. Okay, here we go, the 12 o'clock church, bells are ringing. So yeah, like I can say, all different types of uh, property you can spend from apartments to houses. But when you're looking online, the stages do not give you the address. Unless you're lucky enough to find it, they'll give you a road, but it never turns out to be the road where the house is. For some reason, like to keep it secret. And uh, yeah, like I say, it's 12 o'clock now. A little bit inland, Mercia, as you know. And uh, the temperature is 36 degrees. Crazy sweaty heat in August. Yeah, we've just come down from that direction and then uh, we've just gone round the side street here and then uh, we're coming up to the uh, square. As you know, it's where it all goes on, doesn't it? The square. I don't know how long that church bell's got to keep ringing, but there we go. We've got the uh, bank now as well. A nice little apartments here. There we go. It's going into one. And uh, we've just got here as well another little bar. El Cafe del Tempo. Yeah, busy little bar that one, isn't it, eh? They do tend to be busy right next to the old church square. So yeah, like most of these places, they all seem to have the same names. We've got here, look, K.A. Mayer. Lovely little church, isn't it, eh? When it stops ringing, eh? There we go, look at that. 
He's full to the top, that one. Off to the supermarket, no doubt, or the local market. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? And a bit of a mosaic on the old shop there as well. It's uh, some kind of uh, bedding shop if you want some beds or settees, sofas. And a little cafe bar, my boo. Yep, we found a doner kebab. But it's not a doner kebab, it's a don kebab. Yeah, quite a nice uh, building as well. Got another bar over there, Amigos Bar. So yeah, there are people about this time of morning, 12 o'clock. Most of the towns we seem to be going this time are a bit like a ghost town. But yeah, lots of going on. Hairdressers as well. There we go, we've got another uh, state agency here on the corner. But yeah, the property I'll do find and check out in the area. Oh, the day I'll do the filming is the day it's been advertised. So it's not property that's been sold, it's still available. And uh, just a rough guide, if you was interested in that property, that's what you're gonna be paying. Of course, you do know it's around about 12% more with your taxes and everything. And if you buy a, a property, you've got to put down your deposit. And uh, yeah, it's normally around about 10%. And if you pull out, unfortunately, you lose your deposit. And uh, it's the same with the buyer. It's the same with the seller as well. If they pull out, they'll end up having to pay you 10%. So yeah, it's a quite a good little system now. So at least you know, once you've actually signed that contract, put your 10% down, there ain't gonna be no gazumping and uh, you're guaranteed the property. And if you ain't, they pull out, well, you gain 10% of the money, don't you? Honey's Bar, and uh, yeah, the Indian restaurant. Yeah, I wonder what they're charging for a menu of the day down this heck of the woods. Should I go and have a look, I think. Yeah, right next to the old Osterpath. So here we go, afternoon lunch from 12.30 to 3.30, which is uh, pretty much soon, they should be opening up. Can't see many people here though. Yeah, your starter, your main and a dessert, and there comes with a drink as well. And then you've got your evening menu here for one person is a 19.95. Same again, any starter, any main and a dessert and a drink. So yeah, and that's right next door to Honey's Bar. So we're gonna double back and check out just around the other side here, because I know there's a lot more bars and restaurants. Yeah, your afternoon special here, look at that, there, yeah, two to five, 250 a pint, or a large wine for 250. Dos a quinta, also do breakfasts and everything. Yeah, and we met a couple of locals here, and uh, yeah, they live in here. How long have you been here? I've been here three years, been in Spain for 23 years. Ah, so what other part of Spain was you staying? Uh, Alicante district. Yeah, oh yes, this is... Milena. And do you prefer this bit? Hey. Yeah. It's cheap, isn't it, eh? Oh, yeah, you got all the golf courses, yeah. And this is your friend, is it? No, no, I'm the owner. Oh, you're the owner. Oh, I wonder why you was telling me. A bottle of cardboard, <laughs> seven euros. How much are your English breakfasts? It's 95. That's, yeah, that's not bad. That yes. includes beer and coffee. Yeah, that's good. And I'll see you do bingo here as well. So, yeah, this is where the local bar. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's about four of us with Bugatti's down there. We've got the half bar. Yeah. The yeah, I've just been down and looked for the Indian restaurant and the Annie Bar. We're more than day bar, really, but we do see the half bar around the corner. No, uh, we're going to double back and have a look at that bar. Yeah, it's a nice bar, sure is it? Like yeah, yeah, a lot of these Spanish places are the same, aren't they? Yeah, yeah but that's, that's Irish, run. Yeah. Got Caribbean night tomorrow, night tomorrow afternoon. We're around uh, no, in oh, in here, Caribbean night. Oh, yeah, so you have a look going on. Oh, yeah. This looks like a close knit community because it seems to be a lot of people about this time of morning. Yeah. I'll go to some of these other places and they're ghost towns. Yeah. Oh, we're up to four or five o'clock, you know. It's been like that, it's been like that for the last couple of months, really. It's only just started picking up. Yeah, August as well. Yeah. 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 yeah, it has been, it's, it's been a very quiet summer. Yeah, and I notice property is really cheap here. Yeah. Unbelievable prices, because I'm I'm just further up Costa Blanca, not far from Torre Vieja, Villa Martin, yeah. around that area. Yeah. 
Yeah, punt the Prima. They might buy the pup, you know, because it's like, the upside of the bridge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The way like the bank up. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm, I'm in Los Hours, yeah, by their part three, so, yeah. I've been there for a couple of years, you know, yeah. I've been in the hat for 10 years. Yeah, so you've been about, yeah, you're on the run, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we all know, yeah. Cheap yeah. But yeah, value for money is brilliant, and new bills as well. Yeah, so we're going to check inside because it is one of the busiest bars in the area. And uh, yeah, there we go. A few people winning already. There you go. Nice little bar. Busy, busy, huh? So yeah, that was the owner and uh, one of the locals moved down to Malacante. So yeah, nice old chaps, and uh, we're going to pop round. They recommend it to have a look at this bar around the corner, uh, Hearts Bar, and also uh, they were telling me the beach is 20 minutes away in a car, which it's not too sad because you're not at the beach every day. Like I mentioned hundreds of times in all my videos, you then go to the beach when you've got family here, when you make an effort to get to the beach. But so uh, it's not a bad thing being that too far away. And uh, being a little bit back, you get a little bit quieter away from the touristy spots. And of course, uh, this area all around here is littered with golf courses. So if you're a golfer, this is golfer's heaven, isn't it? Eh? Golfer's heaven in Spain, down here in Torre Pietro. You can see these type of houses just here. And uh, I suppose these are the ones I'll posting up in the link what you're going to be paying, you know, for your 56, 57,000. So yeah, nice wide roads anyway. And uh, yeah, plenty of open spaces. So yeah, it's a uh, bar he was telling me about. Literally, round the corner to the Indian restaurant and Honey's Bar. You can see you've got a laundrette there. And uh, yeah, the art bar does look a bit uh, like a proper English pub. And it's got the uh, Irish art there, so probably an Irish bar. So yeah, he did say it was a bit early. It will open up later on. It looks more of an evening bar. Across there, you've got a big uh, swimming pool centre there if you want a pool built. Like I say, if you buy a house out in Spain, if without a pool, it's not a big deal. You can get a pool built anytime, anywhere. They all do it near enough the same price. I mean, you're looking around about 20,000 euros, about 18,000 sterling for a nice big pool. And on the next corner there, as you can see, we've got the next bar here. Yeah? which is a Toscana. So for all you people that go, oh, I need to get a pool, I need to buy an house with a pool. Well, if your house has got a big enough plot, it's not a big deal getting a pool built. You just get uh, the license for it. It costs you around a thousand euros to get the license that includes your planning perm permission and it all done proper and legal. You get your big folder and uh, it'll get put on your house deeds. So yeah, no big deal if it ain't got a pool. And if you worry about the maintenance and if you're not living here and you get your pool cleaner, they come around and do it. Uh, their average charge is about 60 euros a month and they'll pop in a few times a month. Of course, summer months they'll be a bit more regular and then uh, make sure it's clean and uh, no problems. So yeah, that was Amigos bar we was earlier. And uh, yeah, we've got some uh, people waving at me. There we go. Nice, uh, friendly people, I can say. Nice people in this area, aren't they? Even though it's mainly Spanish, you have got a little English community. Yeah, nice bright uh, building there. That's just the back of the uh, church. So you'll have no problems with bars and restaurants, and uh, seems to have all your main shops. So it doesn't look like you have to travel out for anything Pacific, because it looks like it covers everything, yeah? Just across the road to these couple of bars just here, you've got the state agents and uh, you've got the rustic grill. Yeah, it looks pretty nice in there. And then you've got another uh, kebab place. There we go. Istanbul. And your hairdressers. So you've got your ice cream shops. Loads and loads of shops. And uh, there, have got another tobacconist over there as well. And uh, it looks like uh, your local supermarket, DA, is here as well. So you've got no problem with the supermarkets. And, uh, just round the corner here, you've got this lovely restaurant here. And uh, yeah, it's a gastro bar, Bagartis. So you've got the uh, restaurant just in there and uh, you've got the outside area. So there, nice, eh? And uh, yeah, a bit of a tap -ass as well. So yeah, we're just uh, checking out this place. And I've been yeah. told by this gentleman here, the food's really good. Yeah, really yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, I'll be getting this like that. Yeah. 
What do they charge you for a uh, baguette? Securo. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, and it's got a chicken. few people in there as well. Yeah. yeah. Air conditioned. Air conditioned, yes. Well, you need it today. 36 degrees. Whew, very mucky. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it looks like uh, this area's got a nice lot of uh, places to eat and yeah. little bars and restaurants. Yeah. yeah, we're going to have a look inside anyway. Quickly have a peek. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, it looks very nice inside, doesn't it, eh? Nice little uh, gastro bar, well cooled and chilled. Yeah, look at that, proper uh, nice restaurant. So yeah, the chap I was chatting to, he said, yeah, he's not actually from this area, his mum and dad's got a place here. He's actually down our of the woods, down by Lozinha on the Orwella Costa. Even here, it's like it's a lot quieter here. But compared to some of the ghost towns, it's not that quiet, there's still a few people. And I said, God, you what, it's got some really nice bowls. And just near this restaurant as well, you've got a bigger sports complex. There you go, do a bit of paddle courting, spinning, yeah, everything. We're going to carry on down here because there are a few more nice little bars knocking about. As it's lunchtime now, they're all starting to creep open. There we go. There's always seems to be a few in each of them, though. They seem to spread them around, have their equal share of their locals. And uh, it looks like you've got your fruit and veg over there as well. The time's creeping up now, it's one o'clock in this uh, place here in Torrey Pacheco, and so is the temperature. The temperature's creeping up as well. Uh, we started on 36 an hour ago, and now we're looking at 38. So in Spain, the temperature they give is always in the shade. So yeah, take that with a pinch of salt. It yeah, might say 40, it could be 45. There we go, another hairdresser's here. Everything in it, eh? All laundrettes. And then you've got this big shop here, there's loads of them. TN21. I should imagine there's 21 of them and they're dotted all over the place. So there's one just down in Guatemala, but they're all over. And they sell everything, every electrical thing going, ovens, tellies, air cons, fans, you name it, anything electrical. And they're a pretty reasonable price as well. Yeah, plenty of uh, building going on as well. There you go, another lot building up there, see here down these back streets they're doing building and right on this corner here this is where you're going to find your local police station, Torre Pacheco. There we go and over there you've got your lottery shop and just on here you've got your big welcome sign. I say big welcome, there we go, Rolden. If you go onto the internet and check out a property, like I say, you'll find lots of properties just around a 50,000, two to four bedroom like I posted. And uh, just on the corner, we've got another fruit and veg. They all seem to be uh, some kind of Muslim Arabic shops. And there we go, we've got a place for sale there. And uh, just further up, as you can see, right on that corner, they're not even finished building, but they've already put a for sale sign up. This part of Torrey Pacheco is a really quite big area. And uh, yeah, nicer parks here as well. I could imagine in a good few years time, this is gonna be built up even more. We've got a nice little cafeteria there with a kids play area just over there. So depending what part of this area you come to, it's all like sectioned off in it. Round by the church is the oldest bit. And then uh, you come a bit where it's like all pretty new build. So you've got this gorgeous little park right by here, with a nice bar. And uh, yeah, you've got a little kids play thing here. Or big kids, whatever you want, because you've got the basketball courts, you've got the tennis courts, and also right over the back there, they've even got the uh, ramps there for the skateboards and the bikes. As you know, in Spain, they do look after their children. That's why you don't seem to get many people go around stabbing each other. Yeah, plenty for them to do here, isn't there? And you've got these big gullies here for the water to run away. As you know, not long ago they had a big got a free area and the whole area here was flooded. So yeah, if you are thinking of buying here, take that in mind. That you don't want to be too low down in case it all happens again. But yeah, it did have serious floods just in this area. And of course, most areas are murphier. Yeah, lovely little park, isn't it, eh? Yeah, just across there, you've got a nice uh, little apartment as well for sale just there. 
unfortunately just under the apartment you've got these units that have not really been rented out yet or bought uh, yeah, above there you go you got a nice clean modern apartment again lots and lots of uh, different types of houses dotted around so you've got houses for all sorts of people really it all depends on your budget and if you can afford a new one they look absolutely stunning don't they just around 200 grand a nice new build and uh, yeah just around this corner got another play area for the kids so yeah not short of play areas in most of these towns always go in first when they build they always seem to build the parks first they go they're building and have a house on the side of that one and of course you've got your hairdressers just there so yeah this is uh, the park for the brothers and uh, also for the family and along here as well just on this corner here looks like some kind of mosque so yeah well now we're gonna head straight up to the main road again and uh, it looks like the old Morocco man's on his way around check out all the old bins and uh, just on this corner over here you've got a a spa supermarket and you've got a modern building here sandwiched in between two old ones got a few English flags popping out as well so no doubt there's more bars and shops tucked away down the side streets as it is quite a big area but yeah I could say just gone 38 degrees be creeping up to 40 soon and I'll just give you a little taste of the area and uh, what it's all about. So if you do want to come down here and buy a property. Okay, so that was a tour of Rondon, Torre Pacheco. And uh, as usual, let us know in the comments below what you think. Is this the kind of place you want to buy your holiday home or want to move to? It is cheap, isn't it, eh? Let us know in the comments below. Always good to comment and give us a like because it helps the algorithm. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.